what it is what it do guys so i am super tired right now but i am doing my best to keep up this vlogging it is 11 um 11 16 on november 30th and i am here in thailand so the reason i'm here was one it was planned but not in the fashion that i thought it was going to work out in so I am here in the hostel. I think it's called Nira Hostel. I had booked a private room. I arrived at 6 a.m. A bunch of drama took off. Unfortunately, my travel partner, Richie, who I'm traveling to meet, might not be able to come due to a bunch of stuff at his company and his vacation being denied. So that is actually a major downer. So that means this whole trip is being reconfigured once again. This is probably the most shifting Rubik's Cube of a trip I've ever had. but. That being said, I want to take you guys into just to show you what the private room is like here at the Nira Hostel. There's two buildings here at this hostel. There's the dorm side and then there's the single room side. I have this one for one night. I thought I would get in a little earlier last night. I didn't, um, so I checked in here at 10.30. Um, as you can see here, this is the room. Just to give you guys kind of a, now you might ask why I got two beds. This is the only room they had left. That was a single room. I need a good night's sleep. I'm gonna to switch to the dorms uh, to meet more people and to just be better about my pricing. But this was about 50 bucks uh, for the night for this room. Um, little safety medicine cabinet. I don't know how much I trust this to protect anybody from getting in here, but at least it's there. We have a wardrobe. I went and picked up some water, 7-Eleven. Um, got some crab prawn chips. And then this is partially why the 7-Elevens are different here in Thailand. So, got some of these guys, seaweed and rice. I got a toasty. Oh, toasties are game changers. And then I got some pork and rice. Um, watching a little Netflix right now as I get ready to prep for the shower. I'm packing my bag. I have amazing friends. My friend Duen is going to let me... Um, leave some of my stuff in my winter gear for Korea at her place while I'm traveling around. Um, I just want to keep you guys all caught up. I want to just welcome you guys to the channel. Again, my name is Zach Jones. This is Long Way to Go and let's get into our video. What is up folks, so it is later in the evening. I took a nap today, feel well rested with my friends. Duen from college, that's there. That's our friend Karis right there. And we are wandering through Chinatown, so I apologize that the audio is not good. That being said, we're gonna wander around. I'm sure we'll get a bunch of B-roll, but uh, let's get into this uh, evening of food. Dang, these are some wild buns. So we got two milk buns. What do we get in this? Sugar and butter. And this one is Wait, butter so and good. peanuts. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> butter and peanuts? Oh, yeah, no. this, this dude, yeah. mind blown. <laughs> We're already folks, we have some squid. We have some crab curry. And then what's the last one? Morning glory, right? Morning glory. What's their names in Thai, though? <laughs> Alrighty. I'm really glad we came here. Love These guys are super interesting. The crab, curry, absolutely amazing. I'm sure for them it was pretty average, but I thought it was really good. Alright, what is this? Hap Tim Hap Tim Kla, Zach. Hap Tim and it's yeah. ice, oh, here milk, it's ice. and... It's coconut milk. Oh. And hell, I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and this is um, Bua Loi Nom Sot. Uh, Alright, let's give it again. Yeah, yeah. Ni, uh, live music. What is up folks? So on this channel, I try to give you guys kind of a real look into how travel is, at least for me, but I'm going to be honest today was not the best. So I am here, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon and I spent most of my day reconfiguring my whole trip. Um, 
it's just been about bad luck ever since Richie officially got denied uh, his vacation. So uh, not his fault, but the things are that with the trip I wanted to do um, down to the uh, islands I was hoping to book, bring you along for that. And then my flights out to Vietnam happened to be changed. So I was refunded for my ticket and was able to rebook. So I will be going to Vietnam this weekend, AKA tomorrow. Uh, for about three days. So I'm still gonna go. I'm not gonna do the whole trip I was gonna take you guys on, but we're still gonna get over there for a weekend. Right now I'm in the park right near uh, the hostel and we have the Golden Mount behind me here. And then we have the, uh, I believe this one is called Wak Saket, which um, is another type of, I believe, temple, um, or I think this one might be the Fort Wall actually. So it's gonna take you guys with me. Just want to be really straightforward and honest with you. Today has kind of sucked, um, but you know it's first world problems, and it's one of those things where you got to make do with what you have um, in situations when travel doesn't go your way. This has just been a particular bout of kind of bad luck, and we're just making do with what we have. So, um, still, it's going to be a wonderful trip. Really looking forward to these things that we are going to be tackling. Um, and yeah, let's get into the our evening, and uh, we'll see what we get. I also, just wanted to correct that was the Mahakan fort, not the temple I'm trying to go to. So what you're hearing is the, in the background when I'm talking is the monk, he's usually reading a script or a prayer um, and kind of just doing a speech and they announce it and play it all over the whole temple. So this next particular section, I'm going to take my shoes off because even though this temple does not ask you to take your shoes off at the front door, this section, uh, if you come here, I'd recommend you take your shoes off. Most of the Thai people are, so out of respect, I'm doing it. You can also store your shoes in these little puppies here. So, pop those into there. Yo, what is poppin' folks? This is Future Zach. The audio was really whack in these clips, so I figured I'd do my first voiceover for the vlog. Um, so, as you can see here, as I walk into the temple, on the right in the archway is actually the picture of the king and queen, and that is the king that has passed, very important to the Thai people. Um, on this altar, there is a bunch of different Buddhas, or the same Buddha, in a bunch of different um, positions, and that's really important because each statue represents a different teaching uh, per each Buddha. As you can see here in this clip, um, we're looking at this altar and all these sticks here are incense sticks where you are meant to light them and pray in front of an altar and leave them as an offering. All these golden Buddhas on this particular altar are the different Buddhas for each day of the week. Thai Buddhism is really interesting and maybe other uh, Buddhist groups or Buddhism from different parts of the world has this as well, but I'm not 100% sure. But in Thai Buddhism, there's a Buddha for each day of the week. Um, and there's actually eight because on Wednesdays, there is a Buddha for the AM and the PM. Um, as you can see here in this clip, I am starting to um, head to the top of the pagoda. This is the top of the Wat or temple um, and really cool place to explore here, um, particularly in Bangkok because it's got a great view of the city um, and it's just like kind of golden beacon that like stands out. So really cool place to explore. Um, you can see these gentlemen walking around. These folks are actually monks and these guys are wrapping the pagoda in this golden silk as I believe some type of offering or some type of ritual or prayer um, for a particular holiday or a particular um, aspect of Buddhism. I'm not 100% sure, but again, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you're enjoying um, and let's get back to it. Alrighty folks, it's vibes out here, finished up here at the temple. Um, it's just such a cool place. Love coming to these temples in Thailand. Um, they've got great energy, great place to hang out, a quiet spot, you know. Um, yeah, just one of those things that really brings me back to my first trip here back in 2016. Spent a lot of time visiting a lot of temples and I only scratched the surface. I did see the, the main, most of the main ones, but when I was here in Bangkok, I was so exhausted from the rest of my trip that I actually didn't see most of the temples here in Bangkok. So this one's the Golden Mount. We got one temple down. We got a couple more to go. So let's keep pushing. So 
An interesting thing about the temples on this side of town is during the 1820s there was a huge outbreak of cholera coming from an island uh, that is now part of northern Malaysia and it ended up hitting Bangkok really hard killing about 30,000 people. Um, so what ended up happening is that there was only one gate supposedly or from my understanding that bodies could be brought out of and that was by Wak Saket or Watsaket, I believe it's pronounced. And so this is a depiction of that cholera outbreak, but what Watsaket ended up becoming known for is the vultures that used to gather to eat the bodies. So this is kind of one of their depictions here in this temple of like that time when the cholera outbreak happened. So this disease kind of kept coming about um, until about 1868 or so is when it kind of started to die down. So, um, kind of an interesting fact um, and kind of a crazy past of the temples, temples in this area by the gate that they had, had to bring the bodies out of. Alrighty folks, so they don't have Uber here, but they have an app called Grab, which allows you to do like shopping, kind of like DoorDash, uh, things like that. Um, but we're going to be hopping on this, which is a Grab bike. folks finish up the ride we are at our next temple and I cannot pronounce the name so I will put it down below don't want to butcher it uh, so we're, we're I think we're coming from the side entrance so we're gonna come in this way um, I hear the chanting so we're gonna try to get around to it to the next spot, decided to get me a Thai iced tea, couple of pork buns. Well folks, with Thai tea and some pork buns, we have arrived on the riverfront. Now that's a sunset. Alright folks, wouldn't be a trip to Thailand if we didn't check out the red light district and that is where we are right now. Hanging with some friends in the hostel, taking a peek. Alrighty folks, finishing up in the red light district. Did not partake in anything obscene besides a regular foot massage, which was actually in the Arab quarter. So not the red light district. Uh, hung out with these lovely ladies. Names? Yasmin and Sophie. Both from my hostel. Lovely group. We had another uh, few crew members as well. They went and uh, saw some interesting things uh, here in the district. That's part of the reason why we were down here. And um, just calling it a night. Had a flight early in the morning to Vietnam and uh, I should get at least a little bit of sleep. So gonna go back. We ordered a car and I'm just about to sleep for about five and a half hours or so and then get ready to head to the airport. So that's the plan. This is going to be the pause on the Bangkok vlog and we're going to get into Vietnam. <laughs> 